Bells went off. Must be time. Hello world, it's Rich. Rich's World Beer Tour. Still on location in Switzerland. Um, gonna enjoy something that I never thought I'd see. Um, an IPA. Check that out. An IPA. 6.3%. This is the India Pale Ale from the Brasserie Trois Dames. Uh, the Three Dames. Trois Dames. St. Croix, uh, Switzerland. So, uh, beer Trois Dames. I'm not sure if ladies are doing it or what, but uh, uh, let's see. Composition Ew. I'm assuming water, malt. You know what? I don't know. Anyways, an IPA, a Swiss IPA, three point. I'm sorry, six point three percent ABV. Saw it at the store. I'd grab it. Why not? How am I opening this? My Swiss Army knife, of course. Coming down to the end of the trip. It's not good. Whoa. There's some carbonation on this one. There's a little carbonation. This has been sitting in the fridge for days, so uh, I did not shake it up. Um, there's some chunks. This is unfiltered, obviously unfiltered. Lots of orange. Lots of orange and sweet malt. Boy, that's, uh, I don't know, seven fingers worth of head. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot. The, the initial, uh, after the initial pour, big orange, big malt. But it's not much else getting through that head. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through that head. It's a gorgeous uh, lemony orange. Hopefully it's it. I don't know if you can see all the chunks. Unfiltered. A lot of them are here. I'm not afraid of some chunks. I don't know. Let's see if we can dig through this head and give it a try. Cheers. There's a couple things going on. First thought is, boy, that's smooth. Smooth malt, smooth orange. I mean, it's an orange, uh, tangerine and orange. Then, as I'm enjoying that sweet smoothness, then the uh, front of the tongue bitterness, and it's grapefruit. The more I talk, it's grapefruit. There's orangey uh, at the start, orangey bitterness, but then it is just grapefruit all over. I gotta pour some more just to to get a sample is mostly that head there. Yeah, real nice and smooth. <laughs> I know I've got the wrong glass for this. Uh, couldn't carry one of everything over here, but uh, oh, it's just, it looks pretty other than all that head. Uh, give it another go here. There's a lot of carbonation. Top of the tongue, malty, sweet, orangey, really tastes good. And then this bitterness that just lingers and gets more and more citrusy bitter with every second. As I'm talking, front of the tongue, just absolute bitterness. Um, really nice. Um, this is a nice beer. Um, other than I'm very distracted by the head. Um, that's just a tough one to do. Anyways, um, it's about 8.25. Uh, nice beer. Never thought I'd have an IPA from uh, Switzerland. Um, really, really smooth, really interesting, real nice. Um, not sure if any of you have had it. Uh, maybe some of our overseas uh, viewers uh, outside the U.S. have tried it. If you have, um, let me know. I'd love to love to hear what you think. Um, anyways, I'll give you a quick. Uh, view of the uh, uh, where we're staying here. We've got a little B&B &B right in town here and uh, I'll, I'll try to swing the camera around and uh, give you a shot up and down the 
uh, up and down the lane here. Uh, it's just a gorgeous town. Eglisau is the town. Uh, if you ever get a chance, this is a beautiful town. I, I could live here. This is gorgeous. Anyways, um, thanks for sharing another beer with me, world, from uh, Eglisau, Switzerland. Cheers. There's one way. And there's the other way, that's the Rhine, right down there. And the, the bells you heard early on are from, I can't get out far enough, there's the church steeple, a block away. Anyways, thanks for sharing another one, world. Cheers.